From the trading desk of Daily Forex, this is Christopher Lewis looking at the upcoming July 26th trading session. I've got the euro in front of you, and you can see that we initially tried to fall, but then we turned around and bounced right into the 110 handle. This is an area that was supportive in the past, so I feel that it's going to be resistive now. We also have the top of the consolidation area at the 112 level, so it's not until we break above there that I consider buying this market. I think anywhere between here and there, we could have an exhaustive candle to start selling. Now, ultimately, I think that we grind lower based upon the previous rectangle, and 110 extends down to 108. I think as long as we have more than enough uh, problems in the EU to continue to weigh upon the euro, and of course the dollar is going to be the safety currency, it makes sense that we continue to go lower. The British candle, or the British uh, pound, as you can see, formed a very negative candle during the day, and uh, this is a market that really isn't doing anything. So if we rally from here, and I do expect that we very well could, because there's a lot of support here at 1.30, uh, this rally should find sellers above at the 135 level. Um, I also think that the gap above there is the ceiling. So really at this point, no interest in buying. I think we either bounce and then sell the rallies or we eventually grind our way down. Uh, 1.28, of course, is the bottom, uh, is uh, support. Uh, I think once we get past there, then we can run down to the 1.28 or 1.25 level, which is a little bit more of a longer term uh, target. But let's be honest, we did have one heck of a meltdown. There's a lot of people trying to catch their breath right now. Mm -hmm.